to the eternal city, Jerusalem, Zion. Uh, pretty simple, but back in the day when we were doing it, it was fabulous. And all nations shall come and worship, shall come and worship you, Lord. All nations, wow, will come and worship, will come and worship you. Do it again. All nations shall come and worship, Lord, shall come and worship you, Lord, my God. Shall come and worship my God. Shall come and worship you. For this is who you are. You are great and mighty, Lord. You are God alone. of Almighty God, all nations shall come and worship, shall come and worship you, for you are great and mighty. this song was on my heart not unto us O Lord not unto us but to thy name be the glory Psalm 115 not unto us O Lord not unto us but to your name be all the glory hallelujah Woo! 
as it gets into all the people that are worshiping idols and making idols with their hands and saying, hey, worship this. I go, I'm worshiping nothing made by your hands, you stinkers. Wow. That's why Psalm 115 is super strong and precious to me personally. We'll get into it in a minute, but let's go top again. All nations focus on the Lord. And all nations shall come and worship, shall come and worship you, Lord. By a new and living way, we enter in to your courts. Wow, amazing. And that you live in our heart. Uh, th this. All is for your glory, which leads right into Psalm 115. All is for your name. in 
unto us, O Lord. Psalm 115, verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us. Man, I love it. So clear and so accurate. Not unto us, O Lord. No, not unto us. But to your name be the glory. Because of your mercy and because of your truth. New King James, straight up, wow. Not unto your name be the glory not unto us not unto us Lord but to thy name be the glory because of your mercy because of your truth but to your name be the glory we're singing the scripture today 2,200 years after the resurrection, probably 3,500 to 4,000 years after the Psalms were written. He, 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 you ready? There's just one sheep in two men's purpose. Worship. There's just one sheep in two men's purpose. And one main reason for existence. treasure you above everything else in our lives yeah we're gonna treasure you above all others we're gonna love you like we love no other your greatness soon will be uncovered all the earth will then know and all the earth will then know for you alone and for you alone will be exalted in that day and worthless goals will be exposed as the idol that we made. Wow. For you alone will be exalted and you alone are exalted, Lord. And you will be seen as rightful King. And from our hearts we'll say, we'll sing, yeah, that all Put your glory 
and me And I'll serve anywhere Let me see your beauty, beauty You put me anywhere, Lord You put your glory in me And I, I will serve anywhere To see your beauty Gazing on your beauty, yeah. Gazing on your beauty forevermore, forevermore, yeah. Gazing on your beauty, gazing on your beauty. I can't get enough, I can't get enough, Lord. Psalm 27, verse 4, David said, gazing on your beauty to behold your loveliness. Yeah, gazing on your beauty, Lord. David said three things. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord. Here it is, all the days of my life by a new and living way. We now have entrance into his presence all the days of our life. Say it out loud, man. I, I'm in his presence all the days of my life. All the days. Wow. So this world can go through topsy-turvy storms, changes upside down. I don't care. Because I'm not going to be moved by that because I... All the days of my life, I'm living in his presence. Thanks for sharing, Kent. I know. I'm a veteran believer, buddy. I know a few things. Wow. And so let's look at Psalm 115. Not unto us, O Lord. Not unto us. But to thy name we give glory, even yet today, Lord. In this month and in this year, we give you glory. And the psalmist said, it's because of your mercy. And it's because of your truth. Truth and mercy. Woo! Man. Truth and mercy. The voice said, not for us, O eternal one, this glory is not for us, but for your name. It's because of your loyal love and your truth. The Harrison translation says, do not give us credit, Lord, for by you alone is glory deserved. Wow. Because of your loving mercy and your faithfulness, you know, we're going to have to sing that. Because of your, because of your, mercy and truth because of your Lord because of your because of your mercy because of your we give you the glory yeah. we give you the glory come on lift that up yeah we give you your glory Because of your mercy, because of your truth, give you your glory. Oh, wow. we give you your. Come on, sing it out, worship. Yeah, oh, we give you the glory, your glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, we give you. of your mercy because of your truth because of your mercy come on one more time we give you your glory we give you your glory somebody worship 
the living God, we give you your glory. Now. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, because of your mercy. Be, think about this clear as a bell. The psalmist is declaring, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to thy name we give the glory because of these two things, mercy, mercy and truth. Because of your mercy, <laughs> because we stay on it all day because of your truth. Because of your mercy, yeah. Because of your awesome truth, yeah, yeah. Because of your mercy, Psalm 115 is alive. Woo! It's alive. It's the word of God. It's the word of God, yeah. Because of your mercy, yeah. Because of your truth. Because of your mercy, yeah, because of your truth. So hear it one more time. We're in Psalm 115, verse 1. And do not give us credit, Lord, for by you alone is your glory deserved. We don't deserve praise. The Lord alone deserves all of the praise because of your love and your faithfulness. And I love this. The passion says, glorify your name, Lord. What a great song it is. Truly from the 70s. God, glorify your name. Yes, your name alone be glorified, not ours. For you are the one who loves us passionately. And you are faithful and true. Right out of Revelation, it's written on his thigh. I go, wow. I don't know that Jesus has a tattoo, but I just want what? It's written on his thigh. Is it an emblem? Is it a banner? Is it a, I don't know what it is, but Lord, glorify your name. Yes, your name alone be glorified, not ours. Man, I am so glad about that, you guys, because I was in the world singing as a lead singer in a band for since I was 13, I've been playing guitar since I'm 11. And, you know, I was singing the world for six years. I was really good at it. Uh, we were making money doing it. But I was using my gift not for his glory, but for the world. And then when I got spirit filled, I went, uh oh, stop doing commercial sessions, studio sessions. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I was, I was at a session and they were paying me really good money back in the day to do this. I was, yeah, 20. 19, 20 years old. Or I started when I was 18. But, and all of a sudden I was doing this. I said, God, I shouldn't be here. I'm prostituting my gift. He goes, that's right. But I covered it. <laughs> I go, what? And so I told my producer, Jay Oliver, I said, bro, this is my last session. No, no, I have two or three things next week. I go, I won't be here. I, I, this all is for your glory. We were just singing Corey Asbury's song. All of this is for the glory. It's to your name, Lord. It's, and, and think about even mega church pastors that, that got a, an attitude and thought they were something. I go, what? You're not all that after all, bro. I don't care if you got two or 3,000, 4,000 in your church. That's the anointing of the presence of the Lord. Thanks for sharing, Kent. Thanks for clearing it up. <laughs> I, I'm never doing that, man. He gets all the glory. So verse 1, Psalm 115 in Passion says, Lord, glorify your name. Yes, your name alone be glorified, not ours. For you are the one, you are the one, you are the one who loves us passionately. And you are so faithful and true. And then let's go verse 2. So why should the Gentiles and the nations say, where is their God anyway? Hey, wow, if you'd have come on over, we would have shared it with you. We'll pray for you and you'll, you'll experience the grace and the love of the Lord. You see, our God is in heaven and he does whatever he pleases. He doesn't need permission 
from any group on the earth, saved or unsaved. <laughs> Why should the nations ask, where is their God now? Our God is in heaven doing whatever he pleases. Less any time the heathen and pagan nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Whatever he desires, he does. Verses 4, 5, and 6. Oh, man, this, this gets me going, man. You see, they have idols, really, no kidding. Well, their idols are silver and gold. How's that working out for you so far? I mean, there's still people doing idolatry today, which I, it's mind-blowing. I mean, with all the knowledge, the Internet, and all everything available, whatever, but there's people still bowing down, worshiping idols, not for me. It says, these idols of silver and gold, everybody stop. They're the work of men's hands. Hey, bro, I want to come over, you know, to your garage and I want to see that idol you're building. And then I'm going to worship it. You know, when you get finished with the two weeks from now, I'm going to go ahead and start bowing. That is ultimate stupidity and foolishness. It's the work of man's hands. I'm not, no, I'm not bowing down. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come to mind. King Nebuchadnezzar, he built an idol of himself that was 90 foot high. He was that wealthy, and they said it was nine foot across, and whoever doesn't bow down when the music sounds, you're going to get thrown into the fire. Bring what you got. Wow. They said, we're not bowing. We serve Yehovah. We serve Yahweh. You're not bigger than him. Isn't that awesome? This is a great stream today. I'm enjoying it personally. Nobody else is. And then they said, there's another one in the fire. The, even King Nebuchadnezzar said, I, I thought we put three men in there. And they're all walking around. And there's a fourth man in the fire. Yeah, that's the Lamb of God. Pre-incarnate Christ. <laughs> there's four and he says he looks like the son of God. Nice call, bro. Nice call, King Nebuchadnezzar. It is the son of God. <laughs> so let's go back. Verse 4. Don't want to lose our focus. Verse 5 said, These idols of silver and gold made by the works of men's hands, by the works of men's hands, man's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. How does that serve you? They have mouths, but they cannot speak. I'm going slow on purpose. Eyes they have, but they do not see. Wow. And you're praying to it or bowing down to it, or you know, I, they have ears, but they do not hear. This is ridiculous. Hey, by the way, we put noses on them, but they cannot smell. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't even get it, man. Those nations worship idols of silver and gold crafted by human hands. They have given their gods mouths, but they cannot speak. They gave them eyes, but they cannot see. They provided their idols with ears, but they cannot hear. And noses, but they cannot smell. And the message said, their gods are metal and wood. They're not alive. I noticed that came right into my vocabulary as a spiritual believer. And when I was 20 years old, 21, 22, worship the living God. I'm up leading worship. I don't know. I don't even know. He's the living God. He's not made out of metal or wood. I'm being very plain about it, very definite. The, the message continues. Oh, by the way, their gods are handmade in, the, in a basement shop. <laughs> well, I don't know if they had basements over there back then, but... They have carved mouths, carved out mouths, but they cannot, they can't talk. They have painted eyes. Oh, I'm sure that's really beautiful, but they cannot see. Tin ears that they cannot hear and molded noses that cannot smell. And four, five, and six out of the passion, the unbelievers worship what they make. their wealth and their work. They idolize what they own and what they make with their hands. Wow. But their things cannot talk to them or answer their prayers. Wow. That's bad. 
Their possessions will never satisfy. Blind men can only create blind things. Those deaf to God only make a deaf image. And dead man can only create dead idols. Wow. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that we serve you as the living God. We worship and adore you. We worship and adore you. idols they made with human hands we will not bow down we worship and adore you living God we worship and adore you you're the living God not unto us not unto us, yeah, not unto us, but to thy name, we give you the glory, O Lord, all is for your glory, yeah, back to the song, and all. Come on, lift it up before heaven today. And all is for your... Only unto your name be the glory, Lord. Do it again. All is for your name. made by men's hands well they have hands but they, they cannot touch or handle feet they have but they do not walk and nor do they mutter through their throat wow. they have fashioned hands but the idols cannot reach out and touch that's why I love to pray for people at altar calls and just at the altar isn't that awesome to lay hands on people and touch him in the anointing reign of the Lord. It's so good. I, I believe in that stuff, man. You see, these idols have feet, but they cannot walk. They're, uh, this, this gets me right here. Because you're talking to them, worshiping. And pay, I, I mean, their idols cannot make a sound. Well, that's what you get. Their idols cannot make a sound. And their finely crafted throats. But today, you and I, in our godly crafted throats, we can sing and worship the Lord and give Him glory. It's so powerful. Well, in verse 8 says, Those who make them are like them. 
so is everyone who trusts in them. The people who make idols will become useless like them, like all who trust in idols. And finally, the passion and everyone who trusts in these powerless dead things will be just like what they worship. Wow. Everyone who trusts in these powerless dead things will be just like what they worship, powerless and dead. And this is our lesson for the day. And it says, 9, 10, and 11, O Israel, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord, O house of Aaron. Trust in the Lord. You fear the Lord, for he is your help and your shield. Come on and trust in the Lord, all of Israel, yeah. Trust in the Lord, He is your help and your shield. Trust in the Lord, you who fear the Lord, you who trust in the Lord. Here we go. He is your help and shield. On verses 9, 10, and 11. O oh, Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Verse 10. O oh, house of Aaron, come on, you Levites, trust in the Lord because He is your help and shield. And those who revere the Lord, put your trust in the Lord. He's your help. We're going to sing out with it today. What a great day. I want to see some hearts and thumbs flying. Psalm 115, hang out in it for the next seven days and see what happens. Woo! <laughs> yeah. All right, Caesar J. Ordaz Perez. I need to see a miracle in my father's life. You guys on this stream, get busy right now. We release a miracle for Caesar's dad, Caesar. We release a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm releasing a miracle. We don't even have to know what it is. Turn his heart, Lord. He needs to see a miracle. Physical health in his soul, in his spirit, Lord. We cover it all right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Right now, we're there's a miracle now, bro, now. I'm not praying later. I'm not praying tomorrow or next Sunday or next week. In the name of Jesus, we're lifting up Caesar's dad right now. In the name, in the name of Jesus, miracle. There's a miracle in his dad's life. Put his first name on the chat, bro, if you can. We want to call it by name, a miracle for your dad's first name. We don't need to know the whole name, but his first name, we declare, we send out the miracle. I just got done talking about praying at the altar for people by the laying on of hands. We do it from a distance and there's nothing preventing a miracle now. In the name of Jesus. A miracle for Caesar's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus, a miracle's flowing like a stream and a river. What is it? Miracle's flowing like a stream and a river. Yeah. Thank you, Lena resurrection power of Jesus I decree and declare those are good words I decree and declare life over Caesar's dad in the name of Jesus oh, 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 oh. miracles flowing like a stream like a river Lord in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name if you ask for a prayer we will pray and we'll see it change. 
the miracle's gone forth. We agree is touching, and at least Lena and I, whoever else is on this stream, Sylvia, in the name of Jesus, my regular folks on this stream, a miracle has happened in Jesus' name. Now, 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, oh my God. Hallelujah, 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 yeah. Awesome, Lord Jesus, any idols I have that distract me from you, please forgive me for worshiping. That is a great prayer, Jesus loves. Is that triple eight? Yeah, triple number, new beginnings. Also, please, Lord, deliver my family and I from poverty. In Jesus' name, go free in the name. Go free in the name. Go free in the name. Go free. I don't know what nation or what city they're from. He is well able. He has promised you provision. I don't care what nation, how much poverty, how, how poor it is. The Lord is bigger than poorness. He's bigger than poverty. Thanks for sharing, Kent. Absolutely. The Lord God Almighty is bigger than poverty. He has promises and provisions. Woo! Holly does pray, and she got her hands going. That's right. <laughs> and Adam Ochoa, I might have said it backwards, agreeing for a miracle in my family. Just join up, bro. We got, we got a river and stream of miracles flowing in the name of Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. And that, that is a Chris Kilala song. I believe in you, yeah. I believe in you, yeah. You're the God of miracles. Come on. Let, let's, we'll close out our stream with the singing the song. I believe in you, Lord. I believe in wandering children have to come home. Wandering in children, woman of God, got to come home. Call them home, yeah. I believe in you, yeah. I believe in you, yeah. You're the God of miracle. Monterey, Mexico, awesome Caesar. I believe in you, yeah, yeah. I believe in you. The God of miracles. It makes, thank God, geographic distance, Caesar, makes no difference when we're praying. Boom, I prayed for missionaries that said I felt it at two o'clock and then I woke up while intercessors were praying. And they said, I, I felt your prayer. It's got power. There's no time or distance in the spirit realm. Monterey, Mexico. I don't know how you have done to this stream, but welcome home, bro. This is a worship home for people. They can come here in Jesus' name. And I couldn't see the name of the other lady. Uh, it, it went up on the screen out of the chat window uh, that she said, I have wandering children. Call them home in Jesus' name and say they're serving the Lord again. They'll serve the Lord again at a high level. I get that, bro. I love Christ for the nations. They've been doing <laughs> If you went there, you know something about worship. Christ for the nations through the years has been a worship center for the Lord. They're, they're not ashamed of the gospel or the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The God who was and is and is to come. The end of the song, Miracles. The God who was and is to come. The power of the risen one. The God who brings the dead to life. You're the God of miracles. Come on, let's everybody sing it together. God of miracles. The God who was and is to come. The power of the risen one. The God who brings the dead to life. 
You're the God of miracles. Janet Hack said, Caesar's just in the next room. It's a big, big house. <laughs> Do it again. The God who was and is to come. The power of the... He's the risen one. The God who brings the dead to life. The God who brings. The God who brings the dead to life. The God who brings the dead to life. You're the God of miracles. Sing it out loud. You're the God of miracles. We're going to go to bed singing it tonight. You're the God of miracles. You're the God of miracles. God of miracles, ah, ah, ah. you're the God of miracles now, you're the God of miracles, you're the God of miracles, we believe it Lord, we know you're the living God. We busted right through Psalm 115. How foolish to worship idols that have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. This is not who we serve. We're not foolish enough to do that. We know the God of miracles. God of miracles. God of miracles. I see you, Lawrence. I see it, bro. Thanks for standing in agreement with me in prayer. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. Nothing too hard for you, Jesus. You're the miracle working God. There's nothing too hard for you. I got it, bro. The secret place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still a great album, bro. The secret place, yeah. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. Nothing too hard for the Lord. I appreciate it. Steve Hunt got on there and said, hey. Is anything too hard for me? The answer is no, Lord. Nah. It's a question he asked. We need to answer. There's nothing too hard. Yeah. There's nothing too hard for you, Jesus. Nothing too hard for you, Lord. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. Then Janet Hack, the last thing I see beyond all we can ask or think or imagine, it's on my glass wall right here. Ephesians 3.20, he is able. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask think he's able he's able to do exceeding abundantly above everything we ask or think we thank you for it now father in Jesus name let everything that hath breath praise the Lord we will continue to do it day after day after day Psalm 115 verse 1 for not unto us Lord not unto us but to thy name be all the glory in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Hallelujah. Shalom.
Shalom in the name of Jesus. Wow. Thank you.